Welcome to Date with Danu. And today on the show, we have something very interesting. This is my one tiny foot into uh, Hollywood, I think, with uh, Chris. And I have Serena, who is uh, his better half, fit half, greatest half, and so much more. It's going to be a fabulous conversation. Let's get to it. Hi, my name is Chris Burgess. I'm a photographer, filmmaker, and director. Uh, I've been living uh, here in Colombo for about 11 years on and off with my wife and family. So, Danu. I've known Danu for uh, about the same amount of time, about 11 years. Met him back in 2011 when he was having a little uh, film show and I've appeared on that for a little while. So I've known him for quite a bit. Uh, a force to be re reckoned with, I should uh, probably the best way to describe him. Uh, very confident and fashionable and, <laughs> and a bit cheeky, isn't he? Um, so we asked myself and Serena to come onto the show and we're very excited to be here. Hi, my name is Serena Burgess. I'm a yoga teacher, a yoga teacher trainer, a birth worker and an environmental activist. And I'm here to go on a date with Danu. So um, I don't know Danu well, but what I do know of him is that he is larger than life and I'm a little bit nervous to be speaking to him today. So let's see what happens. So we have these two lovelies on the show today. Uh, thank you for being here. Thank you for having thank us. Thank you for asking, yeah. yeah. Uh, so uh, to start things off, uh, I have known them for quite some time, actually. 10 years, 11 years? Yeah, although I know your dad, I've spoken to him more Much than I Much more, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's, he, is he the talkative one? <laughs> <laughs> he would say no. Oh, really? Oh, gosh, yes. But we'll see, you'll find I'm out. I'm only talkative when, when, when Sue is not around. Oh, right, <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Pineapple. <laughs> That's us. He knows how to save his life, I think. <laughs> okay, so let's go back in time. So, um, Chris, how did you find a Lankan girl? How did I find or do I find? How did you how find How did her? I? Ah, uh -huh. well... Past, I'm talking yeah, yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I was working on some uh, music video in London, in Belgravia? No. In Birmingham. Um, same thing in Square, Berkeley Square. Berkeley Square. Square. In a, in, a, in, a, in a club, and it was a music video for some rap artist. And uh, it was, you know, typical loads of people dancing, singing, all pretending on this video. And Serena comes in about six o'clock in the evening. Music video goes on for like 16 hours. You were in the video? No, no, she wasn't. She just, she just turns up in jeans and whatnot. And there's all these models and all these like amazing people that they've called for the video, but I'm very professional and I just do my job. I oh, don't chat right, people right. up. You just wanted to say that. No, but I can prove this. Right, right. <laughs> because Serena was there and I didn't, I was, I, was, I was quite rubbish. We ended up speaking because she stole my chair. Oh. And I, I what did I say? I think I said something like, you, you stole my chair. Got, got into my grave or something. <laughs> and, um, and we just got chatting. Uh, and I found out she was a friend of the producer of the music video or some, some connection. Some con oh, so that's what got and you And she there. was there because was a friend invited her just oh. to come and so look at the video. So basically I was yeah. friends with lots of DJs in London. Oh, okay. So we were, I was having lunch with one of them and we got a phone call saying they're shooting a video at this bar, come down. So we went down. And she came in by the way, surrounded by the biggest guys, like six of them, big guys. So, so this I was is his professional but also a bit scared to talk to yeah, me yeah, because yeah. he doesn't know who these guys were. Well, I just, yeah, if, if, if you're going out with one of them, <laughs> and I'm like... So, so, he, so that was the conversation starter, but then mm. it eventually... No, we just got chatting because you stole my chair and I just like, you yeah. jumped into my grave or something, quickly jumped into my I grave. I have stolen so many people's chairs. See, I'm not you to get married to them. I know, but that's not taken me anywhere, so I'm asking um. you, how did it end up with marriage? Well, well I, I was... Even asking for a number, I was rubbish. Oh, I, so Because I was rubbish. doing stills, was photographs. I sort of said to her, it was, it's really, I'm embarrassed to even admit it, but I said, look, can I grab your email? Yeah. If you're in any of my photographs, it means I can send them on to you. I'll email it to you. <laughs> yeah. And what did you say? I said, yes. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I liked him. 
Oh, wow. Oh, so, okay, cool. Yeah, I got... Oh, so there is this other part of this story. So in my mind, there was a smile. Across the room. Across the room. In his mind, no, no. smile. No smile. <laughs> no recollection the of point the smile. Is, she's Sri Lankan. We visualize it in a more Sri Lankan movie kind of way. You know, we will see it slow motion, oh, a yeah. smile. Well, I remember smiling at her coming crossing on the stairs. So may not, maybe not that was a smile. That. Not from across the room. Listen, she has pictured you in a nicer view, so let's Yeah, 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 let's go with Don't that. Don't argue with the pleasant. <laughs> yeah. But she left, and I, this is before I even asked for the email, and I was just like, ah, damn. And okay. then, and then she, she came back. How did you end up moving to Sri Lanka? Uh, I, it was kind of, we've always thought about sort of retiring here. Oh. Later on. I haven't made that much money yet to retire. When just, you retired, you had yeah. black hair. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're he not hasn't retired, retired yet. I haven't retired. Oh, I haven't retired. But then th the, the film industry went really quiet. And In London? Like, yeah, yeah. Globally, I think there was a it writer's was a strike. Yeah. I think, yeah, a recession 2009 on. was a terrible 2008 year. 2008 was yeah. the, yeah. Yeah. So the big recession. still recovering. Um, there was just so many things. Satya, our daughter, she was either just about to start um, into school. school. Uh, there was, you know, the, the in, um, inflation, no, the interest rates dropped to like nothing in the UK. Oh. And it actually turned You're out... You're here now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh. <laughs> it's like but, history um, yeah. repeating itself. <laughs> but the universe has kind of given us so many signals of like, just try somewhere else. And, and so we did. And, and do you like Sri Lanka? We, yeah, yeah. It took a while to... Adjust. Adjust, But yeah. even, uh, we're going to speak more because he, he nearly died even at the entrance of his hotel. Well, we'll speak more about <laughs> when we do come back. But it's time that we play our first game and it's called Yes or No. We'll see you right after. So we are playing this game for your cold chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> is that the prize? Uh, it's very simple. So this game is called Yes or No. You may think these questions are very simple, but it brings out your inner personality. You can either show yes or no. If you want to explain, you can do so. If it's a maybe, not so sure, it's this. Right. Okay. All right, ready. Okay. Have you ever laughed until you cried? Until you peed? Really, not so sure. Really? Yeah, when you have Just full bladder and you have to laugh. You yeah. can't tell the bladder to I go away. I think it's it's kind of a no. I don't recall. I would have been really embarrassed. I'd remember. Yeah, I'm not, I didn't pee the whole amount. <laughs> like it's just a small <laughs> spray. <laughs> <laughs> would you get tired go. of a relationship if your partner wanted too much of attention? If you wanted too much of attention, well, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't marry a person. If your partner, you might not be married as well. If your partner, no, ten, too much attention, no. No. Are you sure? I wouldn't leave them. Really? If they were demanded too much attention. What? I am that person, I think. But you, we're not in a relationship. No, I'm not. <laughs> <talking about, laughs> I'm me. really confused. You would leave them? No. You mm. wouldn't leave them? No. You, he would leave them? No, no, I'm saying, what's the other <laughs> question? <laughs> Gosh, would, the question would you, leave, would you, would you get leave tired them? of a relationship if your partner wanted too much of attention? You wouldn't? Good. No. No. That's my Good. original I, I answer. I also want a lot of attention. Yeah. <laughs> Do you pay attention to little things that matter? Of course. Okay. Do I? Can you Do sell I? one of I your kidneys for money? Absolutely not. Yeah. I will. You would sell a kidney? We are going there, okay? You better keep your... Yeah, turn least, your card. No, you might no, need no, that money. You have a white kidney. It'll go for a higher price. <laughs> you might need that money. <laughs> <laughs> it's and an important kidney. And I don't drink, yeah. so it's really good. And mine's a really clean kidney. <laughs> <laughs> Mine, I think, I, I, have, I don't drink or smoke, so that means mine is also yeah, clean. Yeah, clean, clean. Yeah. Yeah. I drink a lot of water. Do you send a sweet good morning or a good night message to someone who you care about every day? No, I say good night. Say, say stuff. And have a kiss. We don't. Okay. No? Oh, yeah. I, I hate that thing. What? what? I would rather do a phone call and say, hey, have a good day or whatever. Although when you're not here, yeah. We do. I'm away so, Yeah, we do, we do oh, that's every sweet. night. Good, good. Yeah. Are you sensitive to others' feelings? My team is judging me. <laughs> 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 Are you a yes you. or a no? 
going no. You are nowhere. This doesn't <laughs> move. <laughs> and you are you. Sometimes are. I am. Oh, I'm completely yeah. I He's can't, really sensitive. He is very if, sensitive. If I'm really. watching, if I'm watching a film and the person next to me, I can tell isn't enjoying the film. That kind of ruins my experience of watching. Oh yeah, film. okay. So she doesn't like the. But I do you cry watch. at films. You. Yeah. But oh only God. on the films that you like. Well, yeah, I'm gonna cry at films I don't like. So that's what that's what you're. You yeah, no, he's next. very sensitive. Like, yeah. That's a given. Oh. I'm less. Other, yeah. Can you live a day? Can you live a day peaceful and upright without your mobile phone? Uh, I could do. Yeah. I can't. I can't. No one. And calls, you are the one who never picks up. I think. Yeah. No one calls me here anyway. I do pick up. Really? Yeah. You're really bad with your phone. <laughs> No, it's usually because it's on silent because I'm teaching yoga. That's the problem. Then what's the point of having a phone teaching then? Teaching yoga. I can't have <laughs> a you phone ringing. Have it. <laughs> Do you believe in motivational speakers? Yes. What? No, none of us no. do. None no, of us no, do. No, We're no, all I, in agreement. You either got it or you don't. Do you still think of people that hurt you in the past? I suppose. Yeah, I do yeah, think yeah. of them. Like we were talking about a few of them. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. You definitely think of that. <laughs> Still went to get them back. Are you currently doing something you love? Oh hell yes. Good. That was for my show. <laughs> <laughs> I love being here. I just wanted to know that for sure. All right, let's get into a break. We'll see you right after. <laughs> Now that we cleared the complicated love story that they have been a part of, uh, which uh, most of it I didn't understand because Chris spoke very British and far away. So he got me down sat on the end of the couch. I will have to watch the show. Can <laughs> he come closer? No. Oh, okay. I told you all, get steamy tonight, not here on this couch. <laughs> I know you all have kids, have, you all have kids around, but it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, let's speak about you. <laughs> you are in phenomenal shape, like, you know, like I don't know where the kids came from um, and that's amazing and you do yoga every day you run a place called Om I don't why? I closed it when? <laughs> <laughs> I even had a group called Om I know but that's okay because I have an you Om still tattoo you've got the name and still got the brand you still and I'm have Om the brand. Space yeah, Serena yeah, yeah. now ah okay so yeah, sorry. She's I think gone I more just international instead oh, of oh. doing stuff because because of, co of COVID, she's had to change yeah, the COVID whole. Basically, oh, yeah, COVID. Basically, I thing. had to pivot. So now, what happens to Om now? Om is digital. Just the yeah. So the Om the space is no longer a physical space. I'm now called Om Space Serena on my website and all my uh, digital socials. platforms. Yeah. Okay. And I do still teach some in-person classes, less group classes, more one-to-ones. And I do a lot of stuff with people who don't live in Sri Lanka, so right. online. Um, but I also run a teacher training down in uh, Thalpe, uh, which we're doing twice a year. Um, That's also to teach yoga? Yeah, it's a yoga teacher training and people fly in for that. And mm. um, we do it at my friend Eva's uh, yoga shala called Sri Yoga Shala. Okay. Did you ever go there? Do you see me as you a... You came to yoga for Yeah, me. just once. <laughs> <laughs> I'm round trying to just balance ago. myself on my own feet. <laughs> okay. Yeah. But anyway, it's a stunning place. place and okay. it's like a jungle retreat and people really seem to enjoy That's coming brilliant. there. Can you do yoga? I've tried, yeah. I did it for, I did it for what, 10 months or two years? I can do it. Yeah, can I can do, do it. Yeah, I can do it. Can I do what? A headstand? Yeah. Yeah. Don't ask me now. Oh, okay. Just <laughs> my hair will get ruined. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's true. No, I can do, I can do headstands and oh, That's stuff. amazing. Yeah. Did she train you for that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we did acro yoga for quite a while as well. That was cool. Have you heard of, have you seen acro yoga? No. It's, it's a mixture of acrobatics and yoga. And yoga, yeah. yeah. That's, ah, that's what two I do. Two people. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yes, the two of you like Flying holding each other and, and like. Yes, doing yeah. things. Yeah. I couldn't do that because I couldn't find someone. Who could I hold do, you? Yeah, yeah it's, it's a tough <laughs> one. Otherwise, it's just single yoga and it's boring. <laughs> it's not boring. I uh, know, it's great. <laughs> oh I'm my god, he just said what? <laughs> 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 no, no, no. 
<laughs> yeah, sorry about that. So, uh, okay, that's great. So, um, apart from that, you are doing more things because your mom is a part of, uh, she is the one who founded the brand Pulse Beat. Uh, the gym, mm -hmm. and you are part of that as well now? I'm not, but my mum actually, <laughs> you, you've not done your research, <laughs> My mum runs um, prenatal classes because my yeah. mother was a midwife. And but aren't you at least going to be a part of Pulse Beat at some point? No. Never. I, I don't think so. So right. the way our paths have come together is in birth work. Yes. So my mum runs prenatal. <coughs> she kind of pioneered prenatal preparation for women in this country. Has any mother to be like hammered you in pain? Like no, but, but, you? but I hold of your arm have then. had, <laughs> it was very funny. Um, yes, rather strong grip yeah. on my hand. And at the time she, she later said, I thought it was a really small hand that I was crushing. <laughs> and then I managed to get my hand out and get the dad's hand in right. so she could crush his right, hand right, instead. Good. But good she point. did say it was like small and bony. No, nobody like has hammered you so No far. one's hammered me. Nobody, no. not as yet. All right, brilliant. Mm -hmm. We get into a fun segment and it's called Hot Seat where we ask some interesting questions and you're fighting for a beautiful gift as well. Fighting? Uh, well, you all live under the same roof, right? Yeah. So, you all can share. If we made yeah, it through the pandemic, share. we can make it through anything. All right, That's well, let's true. get into it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to start with Chris. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah. Brilliant. Can you see me? You remove your specs. No, I can just about see you. You've blurred, <laughs> but yeah, but I can see. Brilliant. Here we go. In terms of photography, who is your favourite in Sri Lanka? Now you're squinting your eye. That's me thinking. Ah, that's, right. that's what I'm thinking about. Awful face. Are Arantha, <laughs> Jonathan and Ryan from you, my favourite, Gishan Bandara. It's Johnny and Ryan for sure. But I don't, I don't know the other guys. You really don't know? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> if you can make a movie about Gota Gogama oh. in Hollywood, who would you cast for the following roles? Oh. Kaputukaka, Gota, Naki Maina, No Deal Gama. Oh, who would you cast? Oh my okay, God. so we'll start off with Kaputukaka. You, you can choose Hollywood actors. <sighs> Ned Betty, probably. Okay. Who's I don't know that? who that is. <laughs> he was, you'd, you'd recognise him if you saw him. So don't give me actors who we don't know. Deliverance. Have you seen Deliverance? No. You haven't right, seen well, Deliverance, you Burt Reynolds. and your viewers will have to go They'll have to research. Look As up. if you know. I don't know. Uh, that's exactly what I'm saying. Ned <laughs> Betty. Please go to more popular actors. Okay. Oh God, I can't think. So, Kaputukaka would have to be... God, I don't know. Um, I'll have to get back to you on that You're one. So good. Okay, I'll fine. think, I'll think, All I'll right. think, I'll think. Go The guy that played the Emperor in Star Wars, Ian, Ian McDonald? Yes. Yes. Naki Maina. I don't know that person. Mahin the Raj. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know, I'll get back to you. Anyone else? Are you ever going to cast this film? Or no, not? I will, I will, I will. I'm going to think. It's going to be no deal. No? Mr. No Deal. Ranil. Oh, that's the, dark, the guy from... Have you seen Rango? Oh, God, yes. Uh, have you seen Rango, yes. the, the, the mayor in the wheelchair? Bang that's on. He would, he would be him, for right. sure. For sure. So we are just stuck with Naki Maina. Yeah. I'll think of, I'll think of, of who that would be. Can you, can you be. come back with that answer? I will, yeah, 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 yeah. If you wake up sexually fluid one morning and you decide mean? to date a man, oh, okay. who would you choose to go out on your first date with? Your options are... Gihan Fernando, Adam Flair McAldrera, Raj Seniviratna, Prabhat Gamage. Prabhat is from Kes. You know Prabhat. Oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so, 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 that's a very odd, odd question. <laughs> You're who, waking who up sexually options? fluid. Yeah, who were the options again? Gehan? Gehan, Adam. I know, Adam. I know Gehan far, far too well. <laughs> just, just... Raj Seniviratna. Raj. That's uncle. Oh my god, oh my god, this is so wrong. You all just this don't know so people wrong. at all, Raj. even the family. Raj. I knew that was. I don't know. So oh, I, come on, Adam. It's, so it's Adam. probably Adam, because he doesn't live here, right? 
that's not the point. Yeah, that's well, it is to me. Well, he's no the best looking one. one. Yeah, <laughs> Sorry, Gihan. I've met him as well. He's yeah. cool, he's cool. How would you describe Sri Lanka that was five years ago and that it is now, in one word? <sighs> oh, God. Five years ago, Sri Lanka, and now Sri Lanka. Prosperous. No. Five years ago. Five years ago. Five years ago. Uh, now? Now. Ridiculously prosperous. Devastated. Oh, sorry. Broken. <laughs> broken. Broken. Better. Broken. You like that? List two things. You know you're going to get me deported, right? <laughs> He's really losing at this very point. List <laughs> two things that you us. like about Sri Lankan cinema and two things that you don't like about Sri Lankan cinema. Uh... What I don't like is there's no funding. No one really thinks about it as an in a proper industry. Um, that is what I really don't like about it. There should be more money and there should be uh, more people giving support. What I do like about Sri Lankan cinema is that films are still getting made and they're about subjects that you know, mean, um, mean a lot. There's only one thing you like? Uh, well, what else? You, you, okay. Um, so it's with two things and two things. Yeah. Two things and two things. Okay. Uh, we do make good art films. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what he said. Yeah, I like the fact that you, you, you're, you're still making films oh, and yeah. the films that you make. Yeah. yeah. And you've got great actors here, and no one's really. What I do f find really admirable is that there's no there's no sort of formal training in any of the areas so there's no formal training for directors there's no cool. formal training for cinematographers for actors there's, i mean there's 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 fractions of people that can teach yeah. others but in general people have to teach themselves and yeah. that's amazing that and is learn on the job kind yeah, of thing yeah. yeah and that's when you know you love something where if you haven't got that support and, and backup but you still want to do it anyway true I would have liked it more condensed, but it's fine. Uh, <laughs> Serena, we are on to you now. Oh, God. All right. Miru Javira, Shobana Cook. Out of the two, who would you pick for some self-care and pampering if you have to <laughs> not follow your routine? Shobi. If you could say one thing to the current president, what would it be? <laughs> one thing, please. Go. No, I wouldn't actually say that, although that's the sentiment. It would be, have a conscience. According to you, mm. what do you see as the biggest error in the current constitution? The executive presidency. <laughs> Your uncle has a hit song. Uh -huh. Sing it. Silly, 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 silly. Is that good? <laughs> and he never said silly, silly. He said... Silly, silly, see <laughs> Look at you with your voice. Oh, I just throw it off on and off. You know. <laughs> just occasionally. Oh, now, don't be calling me voice <laughs> to judge. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just wanted to say that. Oh. <laughs> if Chris were to shoot a film in Sri Lanka and you were to be recruited as the casting director, who would you pick for the male and the female lead roles from the following the movies about Sri Lanka, okay? Okay. Senaka De Silva, Ajay, Gehan Fernando. These are your male lead options. Your female lead options are Tracy Halsinger, Nimmi Haraskama, Nushara Atapattu. Who would you pair? So they have to be a good pair. Uh, it's up to you. If you want the movie to run or not. <laughs> I have to pick Nimi. Okay. Because I love Nimi. I'll go with G. Gehan. Gehan. Oh, Gehan and Nimi. Done. Super. Yeah. Oh, uh, well, I must say, both of y'all were terrible. I was great. What no. are you talking about? <laughs> Out of the two, I, I have to pick you. Thank you. Yeah, you were at least faster. Like, you just <laughs> blabbered on. Uh, <laughs> I what? thought he could play. Ah, uh, go. You could play him. Me? Oh my God! I'm getting an international film break. You are. We'd have to obviously Hollywood. age you quite a bit, but you could be the younger Mahinda, for sure. I think I have more nicer features. No, you you do. They make up. We can do a lot of things with that. They can make you look very. But you ugly. could you could play the <laughs> but you could play the part as how you wish. 
Thanks. So you could put all thank the... You. You're just trying to batter me up. No, no. I don't. <laughs> uh, thank you to Crystal Luxury Wellness for this. That's for you. Thank you very well, much. Well, even though I cast you, I, that doesn't pull it round. Oh, is that no, was what I'm that was about. I'm not this whole casting couch nonsense. That's what that <laughs> was I didn't, about. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't I'm go, not getting into, there. like, getting into such low places <laughs> to be casting in the no, film. I didn't go If there. I was to, I would have got there already. There was no couch that was big enough. Let's get into a break. We'll see you after. Welcome back to the show. So I'm going to speak to Chris. Now, Chris, uh, Chris has just told us, you know, he has worked in films. We don't know for sure. So I just want to check. That. <laughs> Tell me some of the films that we know that you have worked on. Uh, that, you, that you know. OK, so there's Gladiator. Ooh. There's The Mummy. There's Band of Brothers, Star Wars, mm. Casino Royale, mm. uh, Harry Potter. Mm. Uh, oh my God, um, Harry Potter! Yeah, the that's three, the one. Three that's Harry the only one. I've all those films. <laughs> um, what else? Uh, uh, yeah, the two Star Wars: Force Awakens, Last Jedi, uh, I'm the, King, here. the King's my ears Man, the King's Man, the King's Man, okay, and the one before right, no, sure. that as well. Showing you off too much now. Okay, fine. Well, you I, are. I've had a 20, <laughs> 20 year <laughs> career. Twenty years. Just wanted to check. Okay, so tell me how you got in. How did you get into films? I just forced my way into it. That's fine. That's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. pretty yeah. much. You never wanted to act? No. no. I've been in a few things, and I've oh. done a thing here. I did a thing here. Oh, okay. he, he, can I say? They will cast anyone who is white here oh, to that play is white. Funny that you should say that. That is true. <laughs> because they wanted a white person for something that's colonial based, and they need a white person, and they'll... Sh wow, well, the phone... Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm not being racist, but I'm just saying every time they, they, they get people from everywhere. Well, I was in the Good Karma Hospital. Oh, yeah. wow, as what? As a white person. <laughs> <laughs> What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what are the acting skills required? White. White. <laughs> that I can do. <laughs> okay. Uh, what are the other films that you're working? Are you working on anything currently? No, I've been here for two years, ah, so I haven't worked anything off sorry. the off the island. Sorry. But I've been. Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> but I've yeah. done a few documentaries. Yeah. Um, that's I've kind of gone into a little bit. Did and you father. did Good Karma last year. Yeah, I did Good Karma. Doing a little documentary about the uh, uh, about the so, protests and stuff. So I hung out with film, Hiram. Like there's so many roles to play, and you have always been an assistant director uh, and director, and what and do you like and the photographer. Most? Unit unit stills. I do more unit stills than okay. I do. And what do you like the most? Unit, the three unit roles. stills. Okay. Yeah, because I, I think assistant director is the one who goes through all the pressure. Shouting, shouting, yes, shouting. Yes, pressure, and everything is on their hands. The director just comes and sits there. Like I feel sorry for ADs. Yeah, this it's tough. It's a tough line. It's, it's not very. It's not. It's pretty thankless. Yeah, and yeah, it's not. Yeah, it's, yeah. It, it looks nice on paper, but it's just not nice in reality. Yeah, but it's damn good money. Very uh, good money. Okay. Uh, tell me, have you hooked up with any actresses? <laughs> <laughs> have you still got that flag? Uh, is it a no? It's a no. You're so professional. Is it really a no? It's a no. Oh, it's very I, professional. I, I, Actors are mental. <laughs> <laughs> They're crazy. It's mad as a bag of snakes, most of them. I've got a few friends that, are, that I've kept in touch with for, for years. They're cool. cool. Do you have an actor friend who you're very close to? Yeah. Who? Uh, can I say? You probably won't, you, but you won't know them. Oh. What's the you point in that then? Yeah. yeah, that's the point. Donnie? Donnie Wahlberg? Please tell me somebody like... Jennifer Aniston or somebody who we well, I met, know. We've met, met Jennifer Aniston. But yeah, no, no, I don't, don't show no. off. She's not here and like Holiday in like a no. No, no, I used to hang out with I used to hang out with the film. But in their early days I hung out with Tom Hardy, Michael Fassbender, uh, Did all they these, drop you all when they got famous? Huh? Did they drop you when they got famous? Pretty well they didn't drop me, but it was it was the the, the management around them that starts to squeeze down their contacts with people. My he, management is so kind to me. Well they just let you just They just let just me lose because I just not got popular enough. <laughs> 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 all right, that's me. that's great, that's great. But you know what what's fascinating is during COVID when everyone was at home just looking at each other's faces, they did some brilliant photo shoots. The whole family got involved and they had oh, like cool. colour themes, they had blues, yeah. and oranges, and that was lots of fun. It was really fun. Yeah. The colour yeah. curfew challenge. Yeah. And how was it? Like, it was are all of you creative at home? Uh, we kind of bounced, but that was actually Satya, our daughter's, our daughter's idea. idea. 
Well, I, I think I'd come across something similar. She saw it and wanted to do it. And what we wanted to do is we wanted to make the COVID pandemic. We wanted them to look back on it and have good and, things yeah, good instead memories. of just all bad good things. Yeah. We did all sorts of stuff. I mean, maybe we come back to the colour change, but we oh. did things where the kids went and drew on the street with chalk, oh, with right, like okay. positive things or, you know, we did as much as we could. And we good. shot a whole yoga series, 32 videos, oh, and wow. then yeah, put that online that to too. sell, you know. You're yeah. one of those only people who remained in shape during COVID. Uh, I was still teaching. Yeah. In the Zoom I, room. I remember getting into the lockdown in one and coming out in another. <laughs> 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 there was more of me after COVID. And it's still on me. <laughs> Let's get into a break. We'll see you after. And it's time to dish some dirt. You know, I've been kind of waiting for this segment because Serena here has been very involved with Gota Gogama and Chris has been supportive of it uh, in his own way because at the end of the day, you know, he, he has a bit of a tan issue here. So, <laughs> so, uh, so it's a bit of a problem for him to be always That's in there. Stick out the night. Yeah. Tricky. Yeah. yeah, it's a tricky situation tricky to be there. Situation. But what was it that sparked an interest for you to be there? And you be. have a British passport. I'm a dual citizen. Dual citizen. But <laughs> yet, even you have an option to fly back, but you still want to fight for this country. Oh, God, yes. Yeah. No, Why I'm just asking yeah, because there yeah. are so many people who always like to take an easier pathway out. So I'm I, asking you... <laughs> you would never, she, would ne she would never do that. No, I'm... Right no, but I'm talking like if there's a tough, tough route or an easy route, she will always take the take Whatever the, yeah. the subject. <laughs> sorry. This is my show. Sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> Good, good interjection though. Yeah. Right, go. <laughs> anyway, yeah. going back. So we were talking about what, what takes you there every day? Um, <clears throat> oh, I do. No, you don't. I Not drive myself. I'm I'm driving. Driving. I drive myself. <laughs> what takes me there every day? Um, a belief that somehow we have to make change and I personally find that it's my responsibility to be part of making that change. I can't sit at home and hope that somebody else is going to do it. Um, how effective or not effective is always up for consideration, but it just feels like that's the right thing for me to be doing. Um, um, a go to go gamma in the last few weeks uh, there has been a bit of a dip in terms of participation or in terms of the noise or the magnitude that it was happening in. And there have been a lot of rumours of the fact that it has, it has become a druggie's corner, it has become a place for people to just go relax and have fun and come back. It's an experience. Yes, clearly it's an experience. And I'm so happy those side vendors are there selling bodies and all because you don't want to be just walking empty summer. It would be nice to like have something to eat while you're hungry, do. no? And also they, they get to living. make some money yeah, out of exactly. well. So uh, tell me, would you stand by these statements as somebody who is there? Oh my gosh. Um, no. Yeah. So there are political elements there, 100%. They're around. They don't form the majority as far as my understanding of the situation is. A conversation I had with someone else recently was, I don't want to come there because it's, uh, it's a partisan, there, there are parties involved there. And my answer to that is, if you are non-partisan, you are a citizen who has a belief in this, then you need to go there so that the non-partisan people become the majority there, that, that we hold on to that majority. Mm. If everyone who's non-partisan says it's too partisan, I'm out then of course we're handing it to, to the political them. people. So if you have any belief in making change, whether you believe that the JVP are in charge there or not, which they're not, um, you have to participate. Um, and with regards to all the other rumours, I think there's a very effective media machine that is set up at the moment to um, put that out there to spin that. put that spin mm. out there and and destabilize what's going on at Gotha Gogama and uh, I'm asking this especially because 
when you do have an option in your hand to migrate and just live in another country comfortably with no problems, why do you personally choose to stand there? Because it's not about me. It's about the people of this country, the people that we, we are seeing suffering already before the food crisis has even hit. It's about fighting for people who can't get to protest sites or are too scared to go to a protest site or just don't have the means. It's about trying to create a society where there's more equity. Mm. Chris, what are, what's your viewpoint, especially as, as we have used this word, white man? <laughs> oh, it's, it's I've got to be very careful about you know, how I describe this and how it affects me. Uh, it, but like you said, it doesn't sort of affect me directly because I could just go. Yeah. Um, but you know, this is my family. And the fact um, that you love this country. Yeah, watching this has been has been heartbreaking, absolutely heartbreaking. The fact that the fact that I feel like I can't, ha you know, I don't have a voice really, and I can't really do anything about it myself. I can only support. You know, I'm making this little documentary, so I'm gonna hopefully. You know, it's also been devastating the fact that you know I watch international news, and this isn't getting the coverage. Mm. You get this ticker tape of of you know, there's been unrest in yeah, Sri Lanka, or vi something. violent protests in Sri Lanka because of whatever. Not actually going into a great amount of detail of why these people are on the streets. Um, so yeah, it's it's incredibly frustrating. It's heartbreaking. Heartbreaking. Um, on the on the, on the same lines, I wanted to speak about your first experience coming into. This hotel was nearly, ne you nearly dying. I think initially at the start of the show, <coughs> I wanted to bring in a bit more clarity to this. Uh, because right now people are standing up and questioning people who drive like maniacs saying, oh, I'm somebody's son, I'm somebody's sister. Because of the video recently. Recently, right? yeah, and yeah, you know, yeah. using political people's names have now just become, it doesn't take you anywhere, which yeah. is a great thing. Yeah. You know? mm. uh, it has come to that stage because people are starting to question and because now they have the freedom and they have, they have the power of the people supporting yeah. them to question them. Tell me what happened on the day you, you were following British rules and stopping at every signal, giving yeah, right, exactly. yeah, using London, your right, left yeah, signal, yeah. looking at <laughs> your, you should not. Using my right. horn accordingly. Oh, no. here you use it as a, uh, it's an instrumental yeah, tune. Absolutely. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Which I got used to. I yeah. mean, in the first six months when I moved here, I was like, I'm, I couldn't drive. Yeah. And when I did start driving, I drove in the evenings because there's less cars on the road. But I think, I think, I don't think it was a fashion week. I think we came to watch the Kolu drag thing which oh, you were in, thing. and it was here. And we were leaving, and we were, uh, sorry, we, we, uh, we were coming down the Gore Road, and a Prado was coming out of the out of the drive here onto the Gore Road and of course to me it's like he's coming onto main, main road, road traffic right. so it's my right of way and he wouldn't give and I think he flashed his lights anyway I kind of leant on my horn and then scooted around him and then drove right. off and then it was like a Bond movie and it suddenly had these big headlights from this 4x4 come screaming up behind me pulls to the side of me uh, and then we I think we hear the voices inside or whatever, yeah. and then he just sideswipes me, right outside Temple Trees. Right outside Temple Trees. So, again, and then he drives off. But I've got my London head on again, and I'm like, this must be caught on camera, he's in trouble now, the insurance is gonna get him, and the police is gonna get involved. So I, <laughs> exactly, <laughs> exactly. So I give chase. We pay for everyone else's problems too here. My insurance covers for everyone else's problems. Yeah, that's problem. true, exactly. So Chris. I gave chase. Gave chase. I'm in this little tiny plastic car driving down the Gore Road like a hairdryer. That would have been a good movie. Yeah, yeah. I was like Jason Bourne. I'm yeah. going, following the, what are you doing? Villain. Yeah, so and you got to him? We got quite, no, we, yeah, we got to him because he had, he had driven and blocked the Gore Road with the car and they were getting out and they were walking towards the car to when Serena's like, you need to get us the f*** out of here. And I wanted to be the hero. I yeah, wanted yeah. to sort of say, well, who the fuck's this guy? But I, you know, I managed to find a gap because we had a small car in the fence, kind of got Put the car through. through and then, and went and back then drove the away. But someone actually said to us as well that we were lucky because there was a big Prado and they had this little car screaming down. If, and it was right outside Temple Trees. So if the guys, the security, if they're going to open fire on anyone, they'd have opened fire on us. Of course. And not the Prado. True. So, yeah. 
So we were lucky. And yeah. when I heard that, it kind of... Yeah, you, you oh, were shit. an insignificant vehicle. Yeah. 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 So that was my I have always, even if somebody is just, you know, road raging, I always give way. I'm like, mm. hit me, take the car, just don't hit my face. Oh. I need to make sure. Well, we found out who it was. <laughs> we found out who it was. I got the number plate. We found oh, out really? who it was. Do you yeah. know who it is? You can say. Well, we could have... No, I'm not going to say. But we was could have... Was it politically connected? I don't know if it was no. actually. Uh, no, Might but we we had the opportunity to get it get it looked into, and yeah. we thought, you know what? Even if we get the guy in court, What's the point? we're going to be looking over our shoulder. We had only just moved to Sri Lanka, yeah. so it's like it's true. Forget. But at least now you can stand up and ask, and social media helps, and so people right. yeah 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 people are holding people now. accountable, yeah. which is amazing. Yeah. yeah. All right, we need to get into a break. We'll see you on the other side. You know, this was a hard find. Being a photographer, I really thought there'd be more pictures. So we did some digging and found a few oh, on what's on their Facebook. Oh my God. Okay, so this first photograph Although it looks like she's oh. standing, she's right. actually standing this way, <sighs> holding those two walls with her legs, correct? Oh, there's a, there's a trickery about that. Can you Please? figure it out? There's no Photoshop, by the way. No Photoshop. I figured because I don't think anybody wants to Photoshop this. Why? No, it's just... <laughs> it's just what? <laughs> you would have at least touched up the wrist. No. Oh. <laughs> It would have been in a better... Bit rude. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> You're not sorry at all. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. Uh, but... Uh, Come on, figure it out. Well, maybe your dreads are made out of cement. Or... Yes, absolutely. I carry no, around spread. cement <laughs> dreads no, every day. Please tell me, explain this photograph, because, you know, I tried doing that. You did? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How successful were you? Uh, I just had to take the picture the other way around and... And then just turn the photo turn upside down. Okay. Can you please tell me, is it a gimmick or is it for real? No, it's for, for real. real. Are I'm you using your paws to stand like that? Paws? Of feet. No, no, I'm not. So I have one arm oh, behind my head. Oh, no way. Your arm is that strong? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I have one arm. It's a one that arm handstand. One stand. arm. So I get a little stability from the feet, but there's, it's not Everything holding. Everything is on the arm. Everything's on the arm. God, she can play the next one-shot film. There you go. Yeah. One arm. All right. Oh. Aww, that's my mummy. Explain the picture, not to say arm. <laughs> that's my mummy. Uh, is that you? And me. Oh. Yeah. Is that on your mom. Facebook? I think so. Well, yes. I found yeah, it yeah, yeah, I put it up recently for Mother's Day. Mm. Oh, she'd be very happy that she's been giving a, a yeah. nod. Yeah, oh. there you go. That's Michael, past Bender. And we're That's on the tube. How young are you here? Twenty something? Twenty seven? Like Thirty four years ago? <laughs> <laughs> it's a few years ago. Okay, but more than the age. It's Michael Fassbender. Yeah, that's true. So I, I just wanted you to tell the experience. When was this? You're like in a tube. Yeah, fine. Yeah, this so. is this. Is, well, I worked on Band of Brothers. He's in. He's in Band of Brothers. The same as with like ten, 10 big names, and we hung out quite a lot. And I used to go clubbing with him every weekend. And I can tell quite a few stories of him, but I'm not. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, that's a f that's a film. This couple. Oh yeah. They they sold their house in uh, where was it? I don't know, these Chiswick two. or something. They sold their house to make this to make this film. And What's I this was film? The, uh, Dimensions. You can get it online. It's beautifully shot. It is stunning. Oh, and wow. I um, I was the first AD on that film. Oh, that's amazing. No he pressure. Has they moved to though? LA now. I don't think it's on Netflix. They've got it on some streaming service, okay. but not on Netflix. Ah. Oh. That's the room. That's the bed that that Serena actually gave birth to Too that here. little person. <laughs> She was born in our bedroom. In our bedroom. What? And the neighbours, we went she out, we went out our on bedroom. the... Because our bedroom had a balcony. And, and in Sri no, Lanka? No, no, no back home. Lanka. We went out with Satya in, our, in, in Serena's arms. And the neighbours were just like, what's this? It's like more 
our baby. We had it last night. And they didn't no, even... No, we said, did, you, did we disturb you? We had the baby in the next bedroom. We had it at home. Yeah. yeah, it, her. Her. Yes, Satya. we had her at, at home. the baby at home, yeah. sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How? How? Like just the two of you? No, no, no some midwives was, came. Ah, they go. But they don't do anything, they just watch. You can, it's very the, nice. you can grab the picture. Oh, I was thinking that he delivered the baby. I, mean, I pretty much did. They kind of pretty, I much, pretty did. much did. Oh, wow, you're they, like they you. just did the, the last pull, and that the was it. I, I cut the umbilical cord. I was. Wow, what an experience. Very though. full on. Yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah. What's this? No. Aww. So, this is how I know her. I know him. They're going to be very happy, aren't him. they? Sri Lal Angama. And he's got his own show as well, isn't yeah. he? Legend. He was uh, one of the group directors on the company that I was working for. It was a gem of a man. He still is. Yeah, he yeah. still is. And he loves music. Oh, he yes, loves. he does. Yeah. And drumming. Yeah. To music. <laughs> if it's a surface, he'll, yeah. he'll drum it. Sometimes we've only heard the drum. <laughs> we have just not heard anyone else. None of them are plugged in to see Just the drum. <laughs> I love him. Ah. Oh, Adam, uh, Adam, Adam, they, uh, Jai and Adam just, just. House of he was br fire. He's brilliant, absolutely Jai's brilliant. Jai's our son. With, with. Yeah, um, I know. Oh, I'm sorry, just, saying, just He's brilliant I, with children. I just want to know if, if you know him like on a first name basis. Yes, Jai, my son. <laughs> Not the son. <laughs> I couldn't call him up and say, Ads, how you going, man? What you been up to? Oh, really? You can't? No. I can't get you an in. No, if that's what no, you No, no, no. I just, I just want to say <laughs> hi to him. I think it's fabulous. Can oh, I is, tell you is. a little story? Yeah. So that's the whole point of this segment. Y'all didn't get it right. Oh, okay. sorry. <laughs> so Adam <laughs> has this pug dog that is in a lot of his films oh, really? and comes yeah. to set A lot of his family are in his films. So this pug dog, uh, Jai has no filter. Right. So Jai said to Adam, your dog looks like a pig. <laughs> and I was like, oh God, oh. <laughs> like this is a really bad mummy moment. Uh, yes. And then Adam was so sweet because he kind of went, yeah, buddy. And she poops sausages. Yeah. And I was just like, oh, thank goodness he didn't get <laughs> yeah. offended. But they hung and out. They hung out. They loads. hung out like the whole afternoon. He was playing catch with Jai oh. and he took Walked him up, him up to, to set. set. It was oh, just that's very sweet. Yeah. So very what sweet. we see on film, like, like on the screen as his personality is yeah, yeah 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 even more so he is he is i mean he's worth 300 and 450 million dollars as um casino royale yeah and i i was uh, looking after the uh two kids two or just any of the children involved <laughs> in that scene kids. yeah yeah and there was one there was one scene one of those kids was dying to go to the toilet <laughs> and i had to we went we had to run off and i had to Afterwards, I had to piggyback him, get on, get on, and just run back to set, and then got him in, got him in the set. It's but yeah, amazing. that was that was actually filmed in the UK. In, in that looks like Uganda. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. yeah. 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 the opening sequence of uh, Casino Royale. Yeah, that's been my bigger, my bigger days. Yeah. I look like I might have someone carrying a dead body over my yeah, shoulder. Yeah, it does look a bit excellent. Dead body. Well, a brilliant. Thank you for sharing those memories. You all have some cool pictures, actually, pictures that we will not have, like you know. Thank you. <laughs> you might do one day. <laughs> Thank you for the hopeful answer. I All right, on that note, we need to wrap things up. Uh, you know that it took a lot of, I had to like have a lot of conversation with Chris about, did you all enjoy the show? Yes, yes, I yeah. had so much fun. And Chris did like a full on, anyway, it's good. He just loves watching all my shows. That's a different story. I think he just uses it as an excuse to watch more of it. Yeah, that's what it was. Yes, I yes. Yeah. Have you got that thing, that flag? <laughs> yeah. Everyone gets to know this. You're supposed to be polite always. <laughs> always, <laughs> always polite. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Correct. All right. On the note, we'll wrap things up. Um, thank you for being mm, here. Thank uh, you Loved so every much. bit of it. I hope you enjoy. Yeah, uh, yeah. That's great. Are you always going to have this hair? Is it too heavy on you? No, it's not heavy at the Is moment. Is it all your hair? All my hair. No way. Way. All my hair. So if you have to ever cut it off, you have to cut the cut whole, the whole, whole hair, hair off. Do you remember okay. her with long, straight black hair? Yeah, I know. Yeah, that's yeah, what I'm yeah. like. Yeah, but now this is really long. It's like down oh, here. Okay. I sort of had in my head 12 years, and I've done eight. So, so in the next four months, years, I'm going to four feel years, like. yeah, at least. The problem is it's getting longer, and I don't, you can't trim it. So I don't quite know what I'm going to do about that. Do you like it? Uh, yeah. Um, Does yeah. it get in the way? It's a bit itchy on me. Bit, it's a bit itchy. Does it get in the way? No. What? 
Of what? <laughs> I just asked. I just no, to know. it doesn't. Well, both of you all are quite hairy, I must say. That's true, we are yeah. both quite hairy. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. See you. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you with another cool episode. Today, we're done. Until then, keep smiling. Bye.